Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. Today's video is all about the matcher tutorial once again. We are going to be heading across from the big bedroom that we just made last episode and we're going to be making that room there into a bathroom. We're going to be hopefully doing the entire hallway, layering out that so it actually makes two rooms. Hopefully having a look at this room and we're going to be definitely building this bathroom here. So this is going to be a longer video today. And uh, we're going to get started in this bathroom. So we call it a bathroom in the UK, but it's actually just got a toilet in this one and a sink. So just need to grab on the materials for it. So quartz block, quartz stairs, cauldron, water bucket, tripwire hook, and a button. And you're just going to build your toilet in the corner over here. So probably on these wood blocks over here. Upside down stair across a block like that. And then we're going to grab an iron trap door for the toilet seat itself. And the toilet lid sort of thing. I'm also going to grab a stone, well, iron bars because they make that sort of flush chain. They also look like pipes for like sewers and stuff. It looks pretty cool. Upside down stairs on the roof because we're going to stick the lights in here. So we're probably going to add some sea lanterns in here just to make it look quite bright. And it also adds a nice bit of light in here as well. There we go. And then iron, iron trap doors on the bottom of them, sea lanterns, just to make the effect of it kind of industrial lighting. It looks pretty cool. Cauldron with water in the corner with a tripwire hook, and that's our sink. And now we need to figure out a way to fill in the floor, so we're probably going to grab ourselves some carpet, which does the job nicely. White carpet, diagonal, and uh, scattered about with the black carpet in the gaps to make it look like the sort of kitchen pattern we used as well. And then a birch door because it has the little window on it, looks really cool, like that as well. And then you can stick a nice plant in here for fragrance because you don't want the smell of a toilet in here all the time. So a nice smelly plant in here. Maybe add a little sideboard with it on. You know, do whatever you want. We might stick the plant. You could even stick the plant on the toilet if you wanted to, but it's up to you where you guys put it. We might instead sort our plant out for a nice little towel for drying your hands on, that sort of thing. That looks pretty nice. I think this room is pretty much done, and we're just going to add a little painting in here as well because the walls are quite bland. Uh, we don't want to be too big, so we'll just make a one block space where you can kind of ponder while she'll sat on the toilet. There we go. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So look at a creeper's face whilst you are doing your business, basically. How lovely is that? So now we're going to come to this hallway that leads on from the uh, master bedroom. We're going to grab an armor stand, stick some armor on it, chainmail armor, whatever armor you want. Oops, I didn't mean to nick his t-shirt. Um, stick a sword of your choice as well in the uh, hand, just to look like he's guarding something. Maybe the, the, the owners of the house that live in the master bedroom or something like that, you know along those lines so you can leave it up to your imagination so you don't even have to put anything in his hands if you don't want to but I just think it looks quite nice and not so much copying the, the bottom floor as well so cactus plant in these corners like so looking awesome so the cactus in the flower pot then the uh, the jungle or whatever leaves of your choice maybe oak in there as well two stacked up and then we might actually stick I was trying to think if we could stick a bookcase on this wall but we can't unfortunately because of that painting which would be a little bit awkward. We could try. You could try if you want to. It's really up to you. But we will put a window in this gap here because maybe a two block high window. We just think it looks nice and bright. Adds a little bit of brightness into the entire that entire hallway section. And you can also see who's coming up the stairs. So if it's like an intruder or something. It's also very good for security reasons. Um, like so. But one on each side by the way guys. Birch door in there, that bathroom as well. That is the actual bathroom now. That's the one that's going to have the bath in, which is going to be awesome. More, cact more cactus plants in the uh, door frames there. Oh, not that high. There we go. And you can stick an armor panel in this corner now as well. Armor panel, I keep one of the armor panels. Armor stand with chain armor on in this corner just here. Like so, and we'll stick a different colored sword in this one. So a gold one would look good. Just so it's not as symmetrical as the other one. Just because this is quite a, an odd house. These artifacts, you know, they're not supposed to be the same. They're supposed to be different. But they're still from the same sort of era. So it looks quite nice. But we can stick a bookcase in this one now. Because it's going to be the bathroom. So you might want to read a book whilst you're in the bath. I don't know if anyone actually does that. But you never know. They might do. Um, so now we're going to grab some quartz stairs. And some trip bar hooks for the tap. And a water bucket to fill in the bath once we've finished it. So connect them up at the end. This is like a four block long gap uh, space for the bath. Two trip wire hooks on each side for hot and cold taps and then water to fill in the gaps just there. We're actually going to grab ourselves a banner just to add a towel now there. 
And I know it looks dark at the moment, but we will fix the lighting in a second, do not panic. We are going to grab ourselves a lovely flower pot. We're actually going to grab ourselves a little sideboard as well for the end of the bath, which is just going to be with dark oak wood stair upside down with the flower pot with a little little uh, lily in there or whatever flower you might want to choose. I think I put a nice blue one in there just to make it look quite quite lovely. So now we can grab a painting and also do the same decoration on this side. Uh oh. Ah nuts. That was our picture of the seasoning from the last episode in the hallway. We might have to change that up now just because it's going to be look a bit silly if we, if we use another two block one. Dang that sucks. But you can stick a painting in that gap anyway. Upside down quartz stairs on the roof again. And then we're going to stick the sea lanterns in between the gaps. Take out that, that polished in there. And then we can grab ourselves some iron trap doors for that lights as well. There we go. Now it's nice and bright. Adds a little bit more light to the place. Looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, it just uh, looks like it's supposed to. Nice and bright. It's a bath. It's for comfort, you know. It's for calming down after a long day of weather. And then you can stick your carpet in like you would normally. So, pretty good. Let's go fix this anyway. Ooh, that is way too big. It looks good though. You could actually have that if you wanted to. So we're going to have to stick the... Technically we could have stuck the same one on there just then. But as the other one is the same, as the uh, other painting is a too is a too high one, we might as well just do the same thing. Wait, is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one. Okay, we're gonna have to change this up somehow. So let's fill this back in for now. There we go. And put a sign next to it saying what who made it and what it is. So this one, we're gonna have to be a little bit creative here. The man of the plans, brother. We're just gonna say because honestly we can't exactly uh, copy it but we we wanted to make it we wanted to make it humorous as well when people come around your house to have a look at your artwork and things on the wall it uh, it adds a little bit more humor when you put some some jokes and things on the wall so that is pretty good sorted yep that's perfect the dude looks exactly the same so it's maybe he's got like one little bit that's not painted properly you know we can just pretend guys don't worry about it now we're going to stick the blue carpet in this little hallway gap down here. This is a nice little hallway area because it adds kind of a little transition between those two rooms at the end there and that big room on our left right now. So dark blue carpet around the edges like so again. Um, but this one we're going to stick a shelf at the bottom of this with some plant pots on the top. So upside down stairs we're going to use for this with a slab in between. Dark oak this is guys. Like so. And then we'll, we'll do the next level. Oh, we can't do it there. There we go. And then we could do a triple level if you wanted to, but the plant pots, whatever plants you use, they're going to look quite quite high up and not, you know, it's not very practical if you can't water them, sort of thing. It's, it's supposed to look a little bit realistic, this mansion, so, I mean, you could if you wanted to. Absolutely, go ahead. Um, but for my one, I might actually just change it up a little bit by sticking the plant pots down a level, like so. Now I was going to try and stick buttons on the outskirts of the, the shelf there as well. But obviously it's not a full block so it lo wouldn't look nice. And uh, it wouldn't let you do it anyway. A lantern in between like so. That just looks really lovely for, for a little bit of decoration at the end of the hallway. Quite simple but effective. It looks uh, it fills in a space and it looks good. So now we need to make this two rooms now. So we're going to grab ourselves two dark oak doors. And we're going to stick these either side of this uh, archway just here like so, so the handles are sticking in together. Now don't use a block to fill this gap in, we're going to use upside down stairs and normal stairs for this. Stone bricks this is, like so. Then just add some upside down stairs above the door frames. But thanks a lot for watching this weird as tutorial guys, hope you've enjoyed it, if you have leave a like, and if you want to subscribe for more please do that, that'd be awesome. Have a good one, take it easy.